10 tips, 10 days. Tip number five, break some rules. Let's continue on our imaginary mountain hike. We're coming to the summit. We've had some crests, but this is your first true summit. And as you climb up there, as you take the last steps, there is this feeling of elation, this feeling of joy. You've, you've managed it, you've done it. And I'm asking you to break a rule. I'm asking you to break the rule as an adult or the rule that we as adults are supposedly supposed to play by. And that is, we are to behave as an adult. But we're standing on top of a mountain and who cares? We're in Austria. So we let out this yodel. Yoo-hoo! Echoes come back to us. But it's, it is the best way to express what it's like to be on top of a mountain, to be in the mountains and see the world lie at your feet. Break some rules. As we grow up, as we start to work, as we live life, we have grown up living by rules. Many of those rules are not even consciously taught. We just pick them up. And when we start looking closely at them, hang on, I have to cross a cattle grate. So as when we start looking closer at the rules we live by, the rules we work by, the rules that we have implemented in our business. It's not unlikely that we come up against some rules that have crept in there and that are not necessarily um, sensible. Just think of the old, uh, the old one, the, the most the familiar one where people say, in response to the question why is it that we do things this way and the answer comes back and is well we've always done it that way now if that if that was a rule that we lived by we would still be living in the dark ages because we had always done it this way so taking good look a good look at rules and wondering, actually asking, why is it that we live by this rule? Why is it that we work by this rule? Could there be a good reason to throw this rule out of the window, to break it? Or does it make sense? And the rule that we as adults are not allowed to play, I'm sorry, but that is a bullshit rule. Excuse my language, but it is. It's nonsense. Of course we are allowed to play. People may think you are a little bit crazy. <sighs> Letting out a yodel when standing up top of a mountain. There's lots of people who are like, that's a bit crazy. But who cares? If that's how you feel, express it. If you want to sing Sound of Music songs while you're standing on top of a mountain, why not? Go ahead. Who cares whether you can carry a tune or something? If that's how you want to express your joy, do it. If you want to dance a polka, do it. Having fun is good for us. So break some rules. And when it comes to um, business and life and work, question some of the rules you are expected to live by. And if they are rules that's not a an expression that i uh invented by the way that's an expression a term 
invented by the founder of uh, Mind Valley, whose name at the moment escapes me. But a rule is a bullshit rule, and bullshit rules are there to be broken. I'm sure we can all think of some of them. And uh, living your life according to those rules, to the rules, working in line with rules, I don't think we're meant to do that. I truly don't. So, it has snowed overnight. It's October and it has snowed already. Anyways, I digress. So, take a hard look at the rules that you are supposed to live, work and conduct business by. Ask yourself, why does this rule apply? And if there's not a good answer, see if you can break it. There's one caveat though. Don't start breaking rules willy-nilly, especially not when you work for somebody. Because you may think it's a bullshit rule, but if the whole company doesn't think so, if management in a company doesn't think so, breaking rules is a good way to get fired. And uh, that might not be what you want to happen. Having said that, um, this was number six, five, number five. Break some rules and be sure to yodel when you're standing on top of a mountain. Bye. Oh, and as always, go there greatly. Then say bye. <laughs>